A garnet, a wedding band, and two diamonds. What can we do with this? We get a lot of customers these days that come in and they have multiple pieces of jewelry that they no longer wear and they'd like us to convert them to one great piece that they can wear every day. And this is a perfect example. So the first thing we did was we considered making a three stone ring and at first we thought about just sticking heads on it but that really lacked grace and elegance. So what I decided to do was to take the wedding band, which was white gold, and split it in half and open it up so that it would be the primary part of the ring. And then we wanted to set the garnet in yellow gold because red stones always look better in yellow gold. So then what we did was I once I opened up the wedding band, I created a center head section that actually lifted from the bottom. So the airline or the shoulders of the ring would still be her primary wedding band. And here is an example of how we did it. We designed it in CAD. We got everything to fit just right. And the more and more I looked at this, the more and more I thought this was not only unusual, but super cool. And here's how we were gonna align the stones we wanted the diamonds on the side to be slightly lower than the table and girdle of the garnet because the light from the diamonds you want to reflect through the beautiful colored stone and add light and brightness to them. That's the best use of diamonds in a three stone ring or in a halo or anything like that is to add brightness and color to the center stone. So here I am rendering the piece. You can see this is the through finger view. And I'm assigning the different metals. CAD allows us to visualize so much better than we ever could before we had this. And this is a great example of how it's easier for a customer to understand what we're talking about. One of the most difficult things about doing a custom project like this is getting the customer to understand exactly what it is we want to do and making sure that what we want to do is what the customer wants. So let's render this piece and you can see how the computer says it's going to look. And then we're going to show you how it really looks. So here's our center section as we designed it in the computer-aided design and cast it. And now we're going to add it to the center of the wedding band. Ian, he's coated the ring in boric acid and alcohol that will protect it from oxidizing and burning and now he's flowing solder between the yellow parts and the white parts so that everything is held together in one solid piece. Ian's really good at this stuff. Point. We have a nice single solid ring. Time to clean it up and set some stones. So this technique is referred to as thrumming and we have our own special unique way of doing it but this is something you only see in handmade one-of-a-kind jewelry like we created our studio and we're going to spend quite a bit of time making sure every nook and cranny of this mounting is absolutely clean and polished before we set the stones
Now for the final polish and cleaning of the ring before we set the stones. Unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to capture Ian setting these three stones, but I think you'll see how it all comes out in the end. Okay, can I? Yeah, it's all, it's all yours. <sighs> wow. Wow. <laughs> so what do you think? You like it? It's amazing. And it's all, it was almost all your parts. It's all my parts and it's all my life. And you guys got it. I'm yeah. glad you like it. Thank you.